Another fun one you can make is the hummingbird. This is another bird for the collection. So when you inflate it, you're going to inflate it, but you're going to leave about six to six to eight inches uninflated at the end. That is going to be the nose of the hummingbird. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put an inch twist in here. Grab that knot in, pull it around, and twist around. So that should hold, hopefully hold for about a minute while we get on with the rest of the balloon. I'm now going to squeeze the balloon a bit and make an elephant ear, about four inch elephant ear. It's going to be about two inches high. I'm now going to push that bubble inside the elephant ear loop. So a bit like making the back wheel of a motorcycle. So that's going to be the tail. We're now going to make a small body about an inch and a half long. Then a fairly soft half inch to three quarter inch bubble. We're going to pinch twist this bubble. And that's going to hold everything in position later. I'm now going to make a big loop. Give that a big squeeze. Readjust, so this is going to be quite a soft bubble here. I'm going to twist about an inch and a half from the end of the bubble. And I'm going to then lock twist this loop. I'm going to pull that around. So that loop acts like a very big elephant here. I'm going to pull the head around. So now it's tail, body. Then we're going to, if you're really lucky, got this right, twist that loop in half. You'll know if you didn't make that loop soft enough, there will be a big loud popping sound at that point. So this loop had to be very soft. Now this bit here, this is the nose, so we're going to grab that and pull it over, give it a bit of a squeeze. Mm-hmm. <laughs>